www.newtheboss.com This is Ty. We have another video right now and this time I'd like to help you out or somehow share the on how you can install DIMM modules, RAM, memory card, just however you'd want to call it. That's the one that we're trying to do right now. And the computer that we have is an Acer 4752G gaming notebook and it should have uh, two memory slots in there. Alright, so we're here right now. Flip it over on the table. Sorry, I needed to cut the video. I'm back. And let me show you this a set of screwdrivers that I have. I got this for like about one dollar. It's China made screwdrivers, but I will need to, to have a new one because uh, I don't have a set. It's working good. So yeah, those are your uh, Terminals for screws. So we're, we're, we're gonna start off with. Uh, so, and well, by the way, this is the latch that you just have to pull out after taking out the screw, so you can remove the panel. Let's start off first. It's working good for one dollar, and. This right here. Okay, it's a magnetic screwdriver, so it's sticking out. For the head, connect it to to the screws. And right here is your latch that you have to. You, go. Uh, you just have to be a bit careful though, because you might break some some uh, inlets in there. And this is your hard drive, right there. We have a separate tutorial for that, and how you take that out. Just check that out. The list of videos that we have, and me. Right here is your memory card compartment. And see, it's blank right now, but you only have two handlers for that. Um, the, the middle parts would be your handlers, and yes, the, the, the first part for and this is the second and you got your metal uh, connector or should I say holder in there yeah th so this is your your memory card and just just have to you see the, the metal connectors right in there so one is a bit lengthy and one is a bit short so you don't flip it over like that you just have to match it so again so I mentioned you would never go wrong in installing this on your own Take a note of this part right here, and take a note of the part right there. You just have to match it together, alright? Yeah, let me show that to you in close up. There you go, it's it's Kingston memory that I'm holding right now, and one is a little bit shorter, and one is a little bit lengthy for, for a lot of counts for the metal pins. So you really won't go around, you just have to match this. If you flip it over and then uh, try to insert that then it's not really gonna fit in like that is the other one let me show that to you if you try to insert it this way see that it's gonna bump in to the, the divider that's that it's got at the center metal plates right in there see that so the lengthy part goes to the lengthy slot and then the shorter part goes to the shorter slot Right, so that's just about it. Uh, let me show you. See that right there? That is going to be your divider. So if you're going to bump that in the other way, of course it's not going to fit in. Alright, so we're going to try to insert it right now. Alright, so if you're going to do it this way, of course it's never going to fit in, right? Because it's not gonna, it, it, it's not gonna. I mean, it's it's gonna bump into that, All right? So you have to flip it over. Just follow the pattern like this. See, it's a perfect match. So how you'd want to do it now? Uh, here is the metal holder. Here's another metal holder, and here is for the primary. So you might want to do it first underneath. I don't know if, 
it's focused on the camera, but uh, yeah, like this. And you just have to just insert that in there, like this. See that? It's gonna fit in. But again, just push that in there. Just follow how it would slide in. All right? Don't press on anything. Just just follow how it would slide in. It's a little bit inclined like that. And what you have to do right now, just push it down. The metal holder is going to automatically clip that in there. And here's another. Let's try the second one. So again, it should be a little, a little bit inclined like that. And once you're ready, you just have to push it down and see how the metal holders would clip that in there. And everything's pretty clipped in. And be a little bit soft in doing that. Don't don't push it hard because you know it's just a memory module. Everything might break. And. Next up is the cover. So actually you're done. We're gonna cover that now. So you've added RAM in there. You've installed uh well that was four gigabytes plus four gigabytes, so I have eight gigabytes of RAM already. On this specific computer. You just have to go back to screw C in again. Right, so you just have to continue uh, screwing it back so that you can completely flip over your computer and next to that what you have to do is of course you have to test your computer if it's still booting up let's test if uh, everything has been installed correctly and uh, yeah just press power in there check the lights and check if there would be any error messages that's gonna pop in on your computer or I mean on your monitor and from there I'm seeing the hard drive activity right there on the LED lights so I guess everything is okay now everything will be working good just just do some tests in there if you hear a sound if you hear any I mean see any error messages then you might want to pull back your memory card and put it back again maybe there's a problem with the contact on the metal plates do check out our website www.newtheboss.com and please do subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash newtheworks again my name is Ty Thanks much for watching the video, and if you'd want to know more about dismantling, uh, how do you call that, reinventing your computer, you might want to check out how to take out a hard drive, how to take out a processor, how to take out a WLAN, Wi-Fi card, video card, I guess it's integrated. Well anyway, I'm going to be making videos on that in the coming days, so please do check that out. Again, hit the subscribe button, I'm not seeing you doing that yet. See you back. Thanks so much for watching.